Our next candidate to speak will be Billy Mashburn, who is also a <coughs> candidate for the Board of Aldermen. Billy, your question is this, in what ways and on what issues is it important for the town and county to work together? Well, first of all, my name is Billy Mashburn. I'm currently a, a sitting alderman with the town of Franklin. Um, I'd like to thank all the sponsors for setting all this up. I get very nervous when I have to get up and talk in front of a bunch of people that I see some familiar faces that I recognize, and so that makes it a lot easier for me, and I appreciate that very much. Um, it's very important for the town and the county to work together on a, a lot of different issues. One of the things that, that's happening right now, uh, we're trying to have quarterly meetings uh, between the town of Franklin, the town of Highlands, and the county commissioners. And we rotate uh, one, one quarter, it'll be some uh, years and years ago, but we picked it back up a couple of years ago and started redoing it. Uh, and it's helped with everybody just to, to be on a personal basis with the other uh, with the other boards. Now we know who we're talking to and, and they, they know us and it's easier to accomplish things that way. But some of the things that we need to work together on, I, Angela had a, a question about economic development. That's one, of the, that's one of the ways that we need to work, the county and the town needs to work together. Uh, we, we have done so in the past with that and with the, with the county EDC. Uh, I hope that we can do that in the future. I hope that we can recruit some businesses and industries here in, uh, here in Macon County. Um, one of the other things that we hear and read about all the time is cooperation between the town and the county on water and sewer issues. There's always an issue coming up uh, with somebody that, that uh, we need to work together on that. When we do work together on that, uh, it's usually because of some development or something outside the city limits. Um, so by doing that, it keeps the cost down for the town uh, and with the county helping. Um, something else that we, that we really need to work on that we haven't worked on a lot lately between the town and the county is different uses for the town and the county's property uh, that, that they already own. Uh, the the uh, one issue that we that has come to light here lately has been the old drive-in theater property. Uh, the county owns that property, and and hopefully we can have some dialogue between the town and the county as to the different uses that, that for that property. Um, of course, the town has has leased the gazebo property in in downtown on the square where we have picking on the square every Saturday night. And that's used for other uses. Uh, people sign up and are able to use that property. So that's another. That's something else that came up between the between the town and the county. Um, of course, there's always legislative issues coming from Raleigh that uh, the town and the county need to need to discuss and and uh, try to decide whether we're going to push for the legislation or try to get them to back off. So that's uh, something that we do pretty much on a regular basis with that. Um, I guess that's really all that I want, that I have to say about the town and the county working together. But I would like to say that the town board has always, as long as, as I've served on the board, have always tried to, to work with the county where we could. Uh, we've, we've always tried uh, to, to look after the taxpayer's best interest in, in whatever we were doing. Uh, we've got new uh, plans in place for uh, water expansion and for the expansion of the water treatment plant. We're working on those right now to see how the best way to handle that is. We're going to be involved with the county on that, with that discussion. Um, we have a, a procedure in place now where we rate the town streets, we talk about what needs paving and when and where, and we have a system now in place where we actually rate the streets so we'll know exactly when we need to, and what street we need to, to look after next. And that kind of keeps it out of any kind of a personal kind of a deal. It's, it doesn't matter who lives on that street, we now have a, a ranking system where we can rank it by number and then we know, we know what to do with it. Um, 
but we all we're, we're trying to do things. We're trying to do things like that. I would like to uh, retain my seat uh, specifically because of all the water and sewer issues that are coming up in the future, and that's something that I've always been active with and interested in. And thank you very much. I appreciate it.